All right, guys, so I found seven brand new remote jobs that you can do at night that do not require a college degree, and many of them don't require previous experience either. So we're gonna talk about all about the jobs. We're gonna see if it's a good fit for you and your personality. We're gonna go over the pros and cons. I'm gonna give it a score from one to 10, and I'm even gonna post job postings that are hiring for this exact role. So if you appreciate me doing that, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping the like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an escalations associate. Now, this is actually a specialized type of customer service representative, which deals with people who are extra mad, right? So they talk to the normal customer service representative. They're really mad about it. They're really mad about something. And that is when they send that person to you, right? So this is almost like, you know, when the police can't handle something, they send in the SWAT team. And in many cases, these positions are, of course, available at night. And Escalations Associates make about forty-one to $58,000 a year. So some of the skills and qualifications that this one would require are, of course, excellent communication skills, empathy, the ability to de-escalate tense situations, and the ability to work independently and figure out problems on your own. Now, back when I worked in customer service, I did work in customer service at one point, I used to have a friend and everybody would call him the Karen Whisperer. And this was because he was really good at dealing with extremely angry customers. So if you're somebody who's really good at de-escalating situations and dealing with angry customers, this could be a phenomenal role for you. Now, some of the pros of this one is you play a critical role in customer satisfaction and retention, which is extremely important. And you have an opportunity to develop problem solving and communication skills. Some of the cons are it does require a high level of emotional intelligence, and it can also be very stressful. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next on the list is going to be a video spokesperson. And this is basically somebody who is hired by marketing firms and advertising firms to record short clips for the company's advertisements. Now, there's many different ways of doing this. You could get hired directly. You could also do it as an affiliate or as a freelancer, etc. A friend of mine does what's known as user generated content or UGC. And he basically makes videos where he's testing out different products. And then in the description, you can get a link to the product and actually end up buying it. And in many cases, you actually don't have to have a professional setup because what works best in marketing, especially right now, is more of a raw authentic feel where just a normal person is using a product. And this is a relatively new and in demand career that a lot of people are getting into both you know, as a career or as freelancers or doing it for their own business. But on average, they're making about $52,000 a year, according to ZipRecruiter. And there's a really cool video I saw of this lady who is a remote spokesperson. She's a freelancer and she basically just does this all day long and she makes a full-time income from it. Some of the skills and qualifications that you'd need for this type of role is of course, very good English, assuming that you're doing it to an English speaking market. You also have to have excellent presentation skills and you need video recording and video editing knowledge. You can get started just by using your camera. It's a good idea to build a portfolio or a demo reel that shows some of the work that you've done in the past. And then you apply to online platforms either as a freelancer or a full-time gig. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. So some of the pros of this one are you get to work from home, of course, and you get to develop your on-camera presence in case you want to start your own thing later on. Because making content is one of the absolute best ways to make money online. And by the way, I do have a live training, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below, where I'm basically going to be going over exactly how I built this YouTube channel. Channel and other YouTube channels up to making over 300K per month. You definitely don't want to miss out on the live training. I reveal the biggest secrets. Basically, if I had a time machine and I could go back in time, these are the things that I would tell myself. So click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to sign up for that. It's going to be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, but definitely check the link because sometimes the time zones change and stuff like that. So just click the link to check the time. So some of the cons of this one are you are going to have to invest in some kind of video editing software, although you could probably get away with just using your iPhone and something like CapCut. You're your success does hinge on the ability to captivate your audience and landing consistent gigs may require you to build a portfolio. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be remote roadside assistance. And if you like putting on your cape and rescuing people that are stranded in the middle of the night, this might be a great career for you. Because in this position with these types of companies, you offer 24 seven support to your members. So this would be things like somebody gets a flat tire, somebody's car breaks down. So you you might send somebody out to just fix it, or you might send a tow truck to pick them up, put them up in a hotel, make sure a tow truck delivers it to a mechanic that can actually fix the car, etc. So you would be setting all those things up for them. And a lot of the time, there's going to be night shifts and also weekend shifts or flexi schedule shifts for this type of position. And this role goes beyond simply dispatching help. You also use problem solving skills and communication skills to calm people down and make sure that they feel at ease. Now in this position, you'd expect to make about 37 to $56,000 a year. Some of the skills or qualifications that you need to 
have are excellent communication skills, good problem solving skills. It does help if you have customer service experience and you need computer literacy. In order to get started, you just need a high school diploma or GED. It does help if you have one year of some sort of customer service experience, even if it's just retail or serving fast food. And it also helps if you have a little bit of auto repair knowledge. But overall, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Some of the pros of this one are you get to help people in a time of crisis and need, and there is pretty clear structure and defined tasks. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to be on call and you know things can happen very quickly, and you have to have really good customer service skills to handle potentially frustrated customers. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Speaking of coming to people's needs, I get messages all the time asking and requesting me to help them grow their YouTube channel because they've seen the success that I've had with mine. And I do actually coach a few people at a time, but you need to be the right type of person. So if you think that you are a good fit for my coaching, you can click the link down in the description and the pinned comment below to book a call. Next is going to be an IT support representative. Now this is actually one of the easiest jobs to get if you have absolutely no experience. And in this position, you'd basically be helping people with any of their technology related needs. In some cases, you would help people in your company, or in some cases, you might be helping your customers as well. And in many cases, you can actually do this from home. And IT support representatives make about forty-two dollars to $63,000 a year. Some of the skills or qualifications that you would need for this are, of course, good technology related skills. So you have to be a bit of a tech whiz. You also would want to have excellent communication and customer service skills. And you need the ability to work independently and prioritize tasks. Like I said before, you don't need any previous IT experience, but you do need to demonstrate that you have technical ability. And there are so many places that hire for this role. I'll put a few up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And some of the pros of this one are you get to play a vital role in supporting whatever company you're working in, and you have an opportunity to develop your technology related skills. And when you get your foot in the door in the technology industry, in many cases, you can level up to even better jobs. Some of the cons here are you do have to be really good at problem solving and technical ability, and it can be a fast paced environment in some cases. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next on the list is going to be a remote US IT recruiter. So this goes really well with the last one because of the fact that there's such a huge demand for IT skill, and they actually need to find recruiters to find people that have the skills so that they can actually do a good job with IT. And this is basically where you'd be finding people with IT skills for your company. Now recruiting is amazing to do with remote work because there's pretty much no other way to do it. And recruiters make anywhere between 78 and $140,000 a year in the United States. So it is a very lucrative position. Now typically you'll get some kind of base pay and then incentives based on how many people you place and how good they are. Now some of the skills and qualifications that you might need for this position is an, a strong understanding of the IT industry, excellent communication and interpersonal skills, adept at different sourcing techniques for good employees, and proficient in using what's known as the ATS or applicant tracking systems. So these are all things that you can study up on and learn without necessarily having to work, except for the experience in the IT industry, you're likely going to have to have some experience. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros here are you play a vital role in the company's success because you attract the right talent to the company and you get to develop really important skills when it comes to sourcing. Some of the cons are it requires a deep understanding of the IT industry and the job can be fast paced and demanding. But I really like recruiting jobs. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a B2B sales representative. So in this position, you'd likely be talking to people who are kind of like high up in companies. So CEOs, executives, managers, marketing directors, etc. And you're going to be selling them some sort of business related product or service. So one example would be a software, you could be selling them a software that's specific to their business needs. And in some cases, these types of software, you can actually sell for hundreds of 1000s of dollars per year. So sometimes the contracts might be worth hundreds of 1000s or even millions of dollars. And you actually get a cut of that when you close deals. And I ran into this guy's channel, who's basically a B2B sales expert. And I think he specializes in the technology industry. His name is Patrick Dang. And he has a pretty good channel where he talks about this stuff. And you know, he does it for a living. And B2B sales specialists make about 83 to $141,000 a year. Now some of the skills and qualifications that you need for this are excellent communication and interpersonal skills, you need to have a strong understanding of whatever the company's product is. So it really helps, for instance, if you're familiar with the technology industry, if you're selling a software product, you need to be adept at finding the right people and reaching out to them. And you need to be able to work independently and pretty much just make it happen because you're mostly going to get paid on commission. So you only eat what you kill, so to speak. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So some of the pros of this one are you have really good earning potential. You can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in this position. In fact, I did an interview with Antoine on my channel, and he makes over $500,000 a year in technology sales. Another pro is you get to develop incredibly important sales and communication skills. Some of the cons here are you do have to have really good charisma and communication skills, and it can be a very 
very fast paced and demanding environment where you basically only get paid if you get sales. So I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. And by the way, this is very closely related to digital marketing because this particular role is kind of the outreach side of things. So you might not necessarily be closing the deals yourself, but you'd be reaching out to people so that other people can close it. So it's more marketing than sales, or you could kind of say it's a hybrid of those roles. And by the way, if you wanna know how to get into digital marketing, there is a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that goes over exactly how a bunch of people that I've interviewed on my channel have have gotten into digital marketing themselves. So definitely check that out if this is something that interests you. Next is going to be a donor and family coordinator. This is basically where you're gonna be interviewing either people or the family members of people who could potentially be organ or tissue donors. So this could be anything from a kidney to a liver to an eye to bone marrow, et cetera. Now, in some cases, you might be interviewing the family of someone who just passed away. So it can be a very sensitive subject. But with that being said, you get to make a massive difference because obviously organ donation literally saves people's lives. In this position, you'd make about $49,000 a year according to ZipRecruiter. Now, some of the skills you need for this are, of course, strong communication skills, empathy, high emotional intelligence, and the ability to persuade. Here are some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Some of the pros of this are you're doing very meaningful work and it can be an actual career with a competitive salary and benefits, etc. Some of the cons are you are likely gonna be dealing with people who are in a bad situation, so you have to have excellent communication skills. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did have a video that went completely viral. People absolutely loved it and that's seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring and you can check that video out by clicking right here.